The introduction of 5.5G offers tenfold improvements in speed, latency and efficiency over current 5G networks. It's been four years since we launched a commercial 5G network in South Africa. And in those four years, we've grown the population coverage. We wanted to demonstrate the capability of this technology in terms of the higher speeds, the higher capacities, the efficiencies we can get, and also some of the use cases. We've actually deployed two uh, trial networks. What was quite impressive is in both of those demonstrations, we were able to do 8.6 gigabit, 8.7 gigabit to a single user, which is phenomenal. While faster speeds are essential, 5.5G will enable innovation in every field, a massive boost to economies. When we speak about 5.5G, we talk about things such as enabling um, XVR, effectively virtual reality, augmented reality, um, and more efficient Internet of Things by being able to communicate with multiple devices, machine-to-machine uh, -machine devices, handing a lot more traffic simultaneously. Now, where that starts becoming important is when you start automating a lot of the production uh, mining environments, when you start looking at automated or autonomous driving vehicles, they become safer and faster around mining premises, which drives efficiencies and lowers the cost of that mining operation. Spectrum is critical in supporting the 5.5G network. MTN last acquired mobile Spectrum in 2022. That was after a 15-year wait. We are building the foundation for this right now. You can't respond later when you obtain the, the Spectrum. You need to be able to scale your capacity in your network before you actually do that, 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 that deployment. Through our modernization program in the radio access network, our fiber optic systems, our microwave systems, we are upgrading all those networks to support the higher capacities right now. The 5.5G network is currently in pilot phase. MTN is testing with Huawei and ZTE and using it in some industrial spaces like in the mining sector and in some of the ports across South Africa. This is currently being done on temporary spectrum. Only once an auction is held, probably in the next year or two, will MTN be able to make this service available to the wider public. Sumitra Nadi, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.